I'm going to move you from novice, newbie, or a beginner in video editing to a pro, to a professional video editor in the next few minutes. And we'll be using our phones. Take hmm. that raw, unedited video to something that is clean looking and professional with all the bells and whistles, the text overlay, the B rolls, the popping colors, the sound design, and all those elements that make for a great video. It's very difficult and discouraging for most people, but don't worry. In this video i'll give you everything you need step by step in fact you can do away with any other tutorial or course that you paid on this topic first is the requirement the first thing of course is your raw video clips and you can use your phone to shoot that you might need stock videos and stock images these are free copyright free videos and images that you can use in your videos to enhance the storyline to make your videos more interesting you need some video assets like like button subscribe button end screen and so on you may need some sound effects like maybe pop or swipe or whoosh or explosion depending on what you want to achieve you need a background music something you put that is relevant to the tone of your video and of course you need a video editor in this video we will be using InShot editing app and it is free even though there is a paid package the paid package grants you ads free platform so you will not be seeing ads and some pro features it removes the watermark but the beauty here is that the watermark is very easy to remove you simply just click on it watch one or two ads and it's gone in fact in this tutorial we will be using the free version so that you have no excuse there are different formats of videos in this video however we will be looking at a landscape horizontal video but the same principles can be applied to any other format of videos to get some of the stock videos and images you can use as your b-rolls you can go to pexels.com you go to your video videos let's say we want to look for ring lights maybe we are talking about ring lights and we need a video to pop up while we are talking about it a landscape video so i will pick something like this click on this arrow down here to full hd if there's hd or full hd i'll just pick one of those okay my video is downloaded images let's say a smartphone i can just use this one it is landscape and my video is landscape i click on this arrow down large one and i download it so i will go through the process and download all the images and video clips that I will need to add to my own video to make it better. Another thing I can do here is to download my like button and my subscribe button with the bell and my end screen. So I can simply come here and say subscribe button. Then I click on videos. Let's just pick this one. So I just come in here and I'll click on free download. Don't worry, we will remove the green background. I will need an end screen. So that's the aspect that shows after your video where other videos can be placed. End screen, YouTube, videos. Let's just select this, play and see very good click on free download another thing i will need is our sound effects and background sounds you can get this from youtube itself if you use any other soundtrack or sound effects it is risky because of copyright strikes come to my browser here and i'll click there and i go to desktop site if you are doing this from your laptop you don't need to do all of this you could just simply go to youtube log in and then you go to your audio library how did i I get here i simply went to my browser went to the desktop site i logged in to my youtube channel and down to the audio library the audio library is in the creator studio or in the youtube studio i can decide to choose the type of music i want like free music to use free sound effects to use so let me just search for something that is cinematic and i'll apply I'll make sure it doesn't require any attribution done and then download. I'll do the same thing for the sound effect that I want. I come to sound effect. Maybe I just want a um, pop sound. Click on that and I just click on download. So I have my music and sound effect from the YouTube audio library. The first thing to do is to download the InShot app. And it's simple. You got to go to your Play Store. You simply type InShot and click. And I have already downloaded it, but if you've not, you have the option to download it. So I simply open my InShot. And 
this is the platform you'll meet video. So I simply click to so bring in my raw unedited clips. Click on new. I see my clip here. I click there and I click on the green button. So we have different features here. Play around to learn what the different features. So the first thing here is your canvas. This will depend on the type of video you're making. But we will be sticking to the 16.9. The next thing you want to do here after importing is color correction. And if you're a beginner, you know that I always recommend that you just touch on the saturation. Now, if you are very good with color correction and adjustment and color grading, you can go ahead and apply that. However, if you're a beginner, just increase the saturation a little so that your skin pops, right? <laughs> so to do that, go to filter, go to adjust, come to saturation, just move the slider slightly to the right. Don't overdo it. Click on the check mark. The next thing you should do is to adjust the volume. Go to music and then click on your clip. You see the volume to move it slider. We have adjusted our volume so that it is loud enough. The next thing we want to do is cut out mistakes. Leave no space. And if there is a space, if there is a mistake, if there is a place where you say, um, um, cut it off so that your video is clean without mistakes and fast paced. So for example, look at this. You see, I paused the air. That has to be removed. This is how to do it. If the mistake is in the beginning, so maybe I want to remove today. I'll just pause, split, and I just split it. Now we have two parts. I can now click on the beginning part and delete. And if you made a mistake, you can simply click on this arrow back arrow and then you undo it. After number two, there's a pause. I stop there. So I go and split. Then I'll play and I'll split again. Then I can just click on this and then see that middle part there. I'll just delete it. If you made a mistake or there's a silence here, put the slider in the beginning and split. Go to the end of the mistake or the silence and split. Then click the middle where the mistake or the silence is and then just click on the delete the waste bin icon there to delete it go through the entire video removing mistakes removing second guessing removing silence removing arms and us so that your video is fast paced and so let's look at how we can add images, video clips. Remember we downloaded some from Pexels. Let's say there's a place I'm talking about ring lights. You can simply say ring light and put a video clip of a ring light there so that it is more engaging. I simply come in here to PIP, picture in picture, and I will click my ring light stock video. So let's assume here I'm talking about ring light and adjust it properly because you can see that it's not covering the entire screen. So I I just click on this, hold this edge here and drag and drag till it fits properly. And then I'll adjust the timing where it comes in and where it goes out. So let your clips not be too long, two, three, five seconds. And then I can stop there. Click on the B roll and I click on split and I want to remove this other part. Click on delete. So you see, this is beautiful. If I didn't get the position very well, I can simply come there, click it and drag. You see, I can move it around to where I want. Apart from that, I can still click and adjust the handle. Maybe I want to extend it or I want to shorten it even more. There are several things I can do. You can see the icon, plenty of icons here. I decide to adjust the volume of the clip. Usually I want it to be zero. So I'll go through the entire video, adding those videos and images. Let's say there's a place I want to put an image. Go back to P and P. It will be added as another layer to my videos. I click on P and P. This is video. So I go to photos and I remember I downloaded this photo. Um, let me just adjust it so that it feels the entire screen drag it so that I make sure it feels the entire screen then I pause I click on it again I split delete it another thing I can do to my B rolls is to add transitions click on it and then click on edit there are different transitions here let me see this look at how it enters if I want it to enter this way if I want to if I want to enter this way, I like that. It will be advisable to use one or two transitions throughout your video so that it will not be too messy. If you are using this, 
use it throughout the video if you don't want to use any transition just come and click this let's move on to text it is very important that frequently you add text to your videos if you are mentioning a point that is very important make sure you type it out or at least write a summarized version of it or just bullet points just click on t which is text 10 mistakes let me make it all caps on video mistakes it is too large so i can just press enter so that the mistake comes down i can come in here to this color wheel and change the color so depending on your brand colors you can decide to choose your color i can just go to the border and i say no border so there's no border but i want a white border let's just say white border don't overdo it just leave it simple if i want to change the font type i can come to this aa i love bebas then i can adjust the size and the spacing and different things if i want to adjust the size of the text i can do this and do this i adjust the spacing you see spacing then i can adjust the height you see the height I want it to be closer. I put it at the minimum. I click on that. Hold the handle here to adjust it. You can just do this. I want to add more to that text so I can just hold it and drag more. So I like adding some form of animation to my text so I can just click on edit, transition. and click on it, transition, right, great. And like, beautiful. Let's say I want to put my name. So Mali Aruna. King. This is too large and it's supposed to be a lower third. The first one was a title, so it's, it's large. This, so I come to this place here, just reduce it drastically, adjust it to the lower right hand corner. I'm going to use the same transition to ensure that everything is congruent. I say number one, I can go through the same process, not cleaning lens. I maintain the same font type, font colors. I make sure that everything is consistent. Everything is is congruent so you can see our video is becoming professional so i will go through the entire video and then i'll go through the entire process adding my text and make sure that it is positioned properly you can see that my text is positioned properly look at this so you see some persons position their text like this it is not right your text should be either at the middle or just lower third here or somewhere at the middle here or somewhere at the middle here not covering your face of course those are the standard places where you should put your text if i hold it and drag you can see this white the white line is appearing to guide me on my positioning so now i know i'm at the middle then i can decide to zoom in click here and then i split click on this so i can just go and click on this and go to crop crop drag this a little bit a little slight so it will look as if I'm moving and it's very powerful. Can you see that? Can you see that? Go through all of your videos. Don't do that slight crop and zoom. So if you're adding this text, this crop and zoom, these transitions, these B-rolls, your video cannot be boring, <laughs> right? So let's add subscribe button. And I come to PIP here. I go to video and I'll add play here now. I don't want that green screen so i simply click on it i come to chroma i will pick the green and it's gone if there is still a little green on the screen adjust the strength till the green is gone and i click on that but that is the wrong place to put it. You remember where I say you should be putting your stuff and it should be small. If I have a like button, I'll do the same thing. If it has a green background, I'll just simply remove the chroma background using the same process. But I discovered that the audio is too loud. Click on this and go to volume. So I reduce it. If I click on the P and P and copy, I'll hold it and drag it to other parts of my video. Maybe one at the middle, one at the beginning and one at the end. If the video is very long, I can put it every three minutes it encourage people to subscribe with that let's move on to sound design come in here come to music InShot has its own native sound effects and music that you can use. However, they are few and they are not that interesting. I advise you to go to YouTube audio library. I remember we downloaded some so I can simply come to my music and scroll to look for my sound effects. Or I can simply come here and type because I know the name is pop and look at it here. I will use it.
use it. Maybe I want it to appear where I put my text. Let me just drag it <laughs> where the text pop. I want to add it again, click on it, duplicate. I drag it to where my name pops up. So any text that pops up, I just put pop. I can go through the entire video duplicating this pop and put in every text. Let's put background music. Come to music again. Let's go to tracks and I see my music titled floating. The one I downloaded from YouTube floating home use. You see it's too loud. Click on this. I click go to volume and I'll drag it to let's say five percent. If the audio is too loud, you can make it even two percent or even one percent. Just there not overshadowing anything it didn't go to the end so i click on this i say video end it didn't go so duplicate it and now till it gets to the video and i'll hold it split it and i'll hold this and i'll delete this and i can decide to hold this and edit and i'll say fade out let's just say five seconds so that at the end it just fades out and do many sound effects like punch like slap like clap different things you can add now let's add end screen so to do that i just simply click on this plus because i'm adding it to the same line as the mainstream so i just click on this and i click on this can you see that so when i go on youtube i'll place a video on this place and i'll place a video on this other place. what if you don't want to show your face it is the same process you record your voice over you can use a sound recorder and go to a site like pexels.com and download videos and images to represent what you are saying and then you simply come to InShot, import your recorded sound and then you put images and videos on top and then you edit and do every other thing so you can still do this without showing your face also with p and p you can use the mask tool to do things like cloning where you can be two or more of yourself so you can be talking to yourself but the truth is if you want to get into such advanced editing our advice that you get a professional camera powerful lighting green screen and then use professional editing on your laptop or your desktop to make things easier and better it's time for you to export and you simply come to the top here but before you do that click on InShot and free remove you can simply remove it for free by watching and add and we're done so now it's time for us to export come here and click on save the higher the resolution the better but you should use at least 720 meaning that you can use 720 and above i can use 720 or 1080p or 4k but you notice that the higher the resolution the higher the estimated size and your frame rate should be either 25 or 30 depending on the type of video click on save to go ahead and still play some ads i simply click this arrow here and it goes ahead to save but all of this will only be possible if you have shot a great video with your smartphone and there are several steps to doing that click here to watch this video on how to shoot great professional videos using just your smartphone play big and i'll see you in the next video